Hi ladies, this video is for you who want to go work out, but are scared. I've heard a lot of women saying, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm scared of the men. I don't want them to look at me and I don't know what I'm doing. And I've heard that they're really creepy. Um, I have the solution for you because I have been in your shoes and I know where you're at. I know where these fears come from. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> there is a way, that's the good news. It is possible to be a female and to be attractive and to feel attractive and go to the gym and be successful and not be ogled or Googled or feel Googled, goggled, <laughs> not be intimidated by these men or um, in general at the gym. And the key is to be worthy of respect at the gym. So in order to feel secure, one must be worthy of being at the gym. And how do we do that? Well, I listed a few, put together a few points here. Um, and one of the biggest ones is you need to know what you're doing at the gym. Now, I know most of beginners don't know what you're doing. Uh, ladies, it's scary. There's a bunch of big bulky guys. There's a bunch of scary equipment. Everyone seems to know what they're doing except for you. You're little, you're blonde, you don't know what's going on. <laughs> and that's, this is my experience, obviously. Um, so what do you do? You need to, you need to figure out what you're doing. And the way you do this is you get a female trainer to protect you initially. So when you're learning how to work the equipment and where to go and how the gym works, you need a trainer or you need to bring a female friend who knows her way around the gym. Okay. That's first and foremost, you have to know what you're doing. Um, if you go to a section of the gym that you don't understand, like a piece of equipment and you're trying to figure it out by yourself, when your insecurity is screaming to everyone, everyone knows you're insecure. This is going to invite the men to come up and talk to you and try to help you. Um, their intentions could vary. Uh, some of them could actually be trying to help you. Some of them could see that you're a bleeding fish in the water and they're a shark, you know. Um, and you're helpless because you don't know what you're doing and you are insecure. So the best way to do this is to get a female to come with you to show you how to use all the equipment, right? You need to get very comfortable with how to adjust the settings, um, how to adjust the weights and um, walking into that section of the gym. It's the insecurity that will kill you. Obviously, we're going to be insecure when we first come into the gym, but you don't want to do that by yourself. Um, if the goal is to be left alone and to start learning how to work out. Secondly, um, dressing appropriately. So I am the first one to tell you that wearing sexy Lululemon clothes is super fun, <laughs> especially when you have a good body and you're excited about it. And you, this is a chance to kind of be confident and go in there and be like, yay, you know, I've been dieting. Yes, it's very fun. Lululemon is awesome or any of these other brands that, that make us look sexy. However, ladies, if the goal is to have a peaceful workout, if you don't want these, this unwanted male attention or you want to be left alone, we need to dress conservatively. So you can still wear your Lululemon, but maybe longer sleeves, a sports bra that comes up higher, right? Um, I like to wear the Lululemon tops. So you're just, you can still be sexy, but you're covered up more. There's no need that everyone can already see you have a good body, but you don't need to flaunt it as much. The flaunting is again, another signal to come give me unwanted attention. I know that's not what we mean when we're wearing that kind of outfit. I first, I have done it and I know it's because I like to look at myself in the mirror and feel good, but that may not be received by others. Not that it's our problem, but if the goal what they think, right? But if the goal is to have a peaceful workout, it is easier to maintain a successful program if you are dressing appropriately, okay? A little bit more conservatively. It's for your own good, ladies. I have done both ways and I'm telling you, people will respect you more if you're not having your boobs hang out, okay? Or you're not wearing those pants that highlight your butt. Get rid of that, okay? That's not serious workout material. You may seriously be working out, but it's going to invite unwanted attention, which distracts from your workout. All right. Um, another point is uh, to, let's see, own your space. So if you're working in a specific area of the gym, you pick your three or four exercises if you're doing your circuit and you stay there. That's your space. And you're basically creating this energetic, this is my workout space. So. Lady, we are a minority in the gym. 
I mean, that's my experience anyway. So when we're there, we are competing for equipment against these guys that are 210 pounds with huge muscles. A lot of them are on testosterone and steroids and things like that. So they have all of this male energy raging. We must own our space. So if you are, <laughs> you know, like we're told how we're trained to be um, overly feminine, if you will, uh, in a negative way that will invite men to come over. Oh, can I clean up your weights or, Oh, are you working on this? I mean, there's this, this flirty vibe that could come in. And from my personal experience, before I learned this owning your space technique, I would go home and cry, especially when I became a trainer for the first time, because I would be training someone and a man would come in and start looking or just, you know, just making me aware that he was there and he would, oh, are you still using this? Men can tell if you don't own your space. And, and I guess another way to put that is you are there to work out. This is what you're doing. Here's your equipment. You also are sending out a signal like, don't touch my equipment. It's, a t it's kind of a territorial thing. Don't touch my equipment. If you do, you need to ask respectfully, right? Hey, can I cut in with you? Can I borrow these weights? They need to ask in a respectful way of one person training to another person training. And if they don't, there's attitude. So there does need to be some type of confidence with your space. Like you're putting a ring around yourself. And if anyone gets involved in your space, they need to understand with your attitude that that's not okay. Um, so after months and months of crying, I would go home and cry and say, I'm going to have to quit being a trainer because I can't own my space. I keep having people interrupt me. I can't protect my clients. Um, you know, and I would cry and cry. And finally, when I got it, I realized this is the key. You have to stand up straight, chest up. This is my space. You know, we're being professional here. We're being respectful of one another as people in the gym. This is my space. That is your space. You are using that piece of equipment. I am using this piece of equipment, right? Uh, obviously, if someone comes up to you respectfully and asks for your equipment when you're not using it, be courteous and give it to them, right? We're not trying to be better than anyone else, right? We're just owning what we're doing. Um, also, finally, to be worthy of respect, you have to be worthy of respect. Clean up after yourself. Don't leave the equipment. Um, don't, uh, not wipe things. If you're really sweaty, wipe things down. The men will see this. A lot of these men know what they're doing in the gym. And if you don't, and you're not respectful to basically their sanctuary, they're going to know it. They're not going to respect you because of it. They're going to see that you're an amateur in the gym. So don't do that. Wipe your stuff, put your weights back, put it in the proper place. If you've put weight onto the squat rack, take it back off. You know, if you've moved the bench, move it back. Basic things like that. The men will see this and they'll respect you for it. Okay. It shows that you're there and you're serious uh, and you respect your space too. So you're worthy of respect. Um, I think that's about it for how to really work out regularly with success. Um, gentlemen, oh, finally, uh, if there is, so 95% of the time, guys, ladies, rather, um, this is going to avoid all problems with the men in the gym. They're going to respect you and you respect them and everyone respects the gym and everyone gets their workout done. 95% of the time, this confidence, owning your space, dressing, re dressing respectfully and knowing your way around the gym and being good at weights. You need to know what you're doing. That will fix all the problems. Keep your eye on what you're doing. Stop trying to look around, wondering what everybody else is doing. This will fix 95% of the problems. Now, for the 5% of men that come into the gym that are creeps, there are creeps in the gym. So I am not about to say that they're not, and this is gonna fix all the problems. It won't. There are 5% that are just creepy. I mean, come on, porn is outrageous, ladies, um, with men. This is a big problem with men. And so they come into the gym and they have minds that are screwed up. So we have to be careful about this, all right? Um, that's why it's really important to dress more conservatively. Um, that's one reason anyway. But when there are creeps, there are several things you can do. We need to understand that they're there. So not be naive, they are there. If they are really coming into your space and giving you looks and you can tell, stop your workout, turn around, look straight at them. Let them know that you see them and that what they're doing is not okay and cannot continue. 
then you turn after the message is received they'll probably get goofy this has been my experience they, they feel like they're caught <laughs> and laugh or do something goofy usually that fixes it it is a big move on our part and as ladies we're taught to be meek and mild uh, this is not the time <laughs> this is time to tell the predator no so it is just a it's just an eye contact right and it takes a lot of courage but i have faith in you ladies because the first time you do this, you feel so great about yourself, like you've protected yourself and you have, you literally have. Um, so once you've done that, turn back around, keep doing your things. If he proceeds and persists, then you stop, put your weights down and go tell somebody immediately and point at him. You're not tattletaling, you're protecting yourself. So. That is my advice for the ladies. Um, it is so worth it. Once you go to the gym and you feel like it is your space, it's your sanctuary, it's where you can go to feel at home, regardless of the situation, it's because you're protected internally. It doesn't matter who's at the gym with you because you have these tools. You are worthy of respect in the gym. You know what you're doing. You're there for a purpose. You're there to work out. You're not there for attention. You're not there to get to interact really with the men there, you're there to work out. So learn the equipment, cover up, own your space, don't make eye contact. And finally with the creepers, get rid of them. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you're watching this, the biggest thing I have to tell you is that the young ladies that are wearing, you know, flashy, sexy clothes, in my experience, it's not for you. They are insecure. And media tells us that the sexier we are, the higher our self-worth is. And if we are young, we don't know who we are. So we think that that's what will make us win in life is looking good in the gym and taking pictures and it's not for you. Now, sometimes it may be, sometimes it may be, but my advice to you would be is if you're looking for a serious girl, if you're looking for a serious relationship, it's not going to be those girls. Leave them alone, go to the other side of the gym. This is where you need to work on yourself as well, okay? We have a lot to work on as women, but men, if you're seeing this, leave us alone. Go do your own thing. I know it is tempting, um, but it, the, the outfits, we are being told to wear them by the media. So it's really, uh, it would be very helpful for you to mind your own workout as well. All right, that's my advice for today. You guys enjoy your snow day. It is an ice day here in Dallas. So um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.